guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette, and today's video is a box braid protective style hair care routine to prevent breakage and shedding of hair. But before we get into today's video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into today's video. I recently discovered how not to get shedding or breakage with my hair, and I wanted to create this video to share this with you guys because truly like this past week, from taking out my braids at the beginning of the week and then getting my hair done yesterday and experiencing the thickness finally coming back, my hair actually growing in a protective style and not shedding a, like the amount that I was shedding because it was kind of scary. Like my grandma was concerned. She's like, girl, you ain't taking care of your hair. And I was like, you right, you right. Yeah, I recently made the discovery and I wanted to share with you guys the products that I'm using, the routine that I do to take care of my hair and make sure that I do not have any breakage. I don't have any shedding. Like, I mean, if I do have shedding, it's very, it's so little compared to what I used to have. Hopefully this can be helpful to you. And if it is, please do let me know down in the comments below if this was helpful or not, or if you're gonna try this out. And yeah, also I don't know my hair type. I don't know if I'm 4C. I have no idea, but this is really just to prevent breakage and shedding in your hair. So I'm gonna take you through all the products that I use, exactly what I do every single day when I have a protective style in. So in college, I would get single braids quite often and I would go months, like I would, I would keep them in so long and I would scratch my scalp because I have a really dry scalp so it was very itchy. I would get tired of patting because I was just like it's not it's not it's not doing what I need it to do as scratching could you know what I mean and I wouldn't wash my hair I wouldn't put anything into my scalp while my hair was in a protective style I wouldn't do anything I would get these braids in and I would go about my life and that's it and I realized that I was just shedding so much hair when I was recently getting my hair done in these protective styles with box braids, I was still shedding quite a bit. And I, for the last couple years, have really wanted my hair to grow and get back to the length that I used to have when I was younger because my hair was really long. It was like middle of my back long, like when it was straightened. And I just really want to wear my hair out natural. And for me, when I get there, I want like, longer bigger hair because the shrinkage is real for your girl and I want it to be where when it does shrink it's still a good size if that makes sense so I'm doing protective style so that I can grow out my hair and have healthier hair but also I do protective styles because low-key I'm hella lazy and don't like dealing with my hair every day like it is such a hassle so protective styles are just easy but I realized that when you have box braids, when you have protective styles like this, you have to put a lot of work into it so that you don't experience shedding and you don't experience breakage. So I'm gonna take you through several steps of what I do to take care of my hair while it's in a protective style and then in between when I am just letting my hair my, my my scalp breathe in between styles. So yeah, I'm gonna take you through that. So first things first, before I get a protective style, the first thing I do is put my hair into four sections. Now I'm not gonna like demonstrate, like have a live demonstration because taking you into the shower with me and actually doing that, it's a lot, it's a lot of work. And I, and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna take you through the products that I use. Obviously, use what works best for you. I'm just using products that are affordable, easily accessible, and products that actually work for my hair, for my hair type, um, what I found that my hair responds really well to. Before I get into the shower to like wash my hair out of a protective style, because I'm doing this before I get my braids done, I put my hair into four like sections, four braids, after combing it out, 
with a wide tooth comb. So sometimes I will spray like moisturizer or just wet my hair first and then kind of gently work my way up from tip to root, just combing out my hair with a wide tooth comb and putting into four sections, four big braids, and then I go one section at a time. I first go in with this sugar-based hair scalp, and it is by Taraji P. Henson. She has a line that is available at Target, and this is like a minty feeling. I really, really like it. I try to focus a lot on my scalp because I do have an itchy scalp, I do have a dry scalp, and so I don't want things to really build up because I find that I, won't focus on my scalp. I used to just never focus on my scalp. So I really, really do try to focus on cleaning my scalp and having just a very cleansed from root to tip hair. I need to focus on my scalp instead of just focusing on the hair follicle um, because it all like kind of goes down anyway. So I go in with this sugar scrub. It has like a minty feel to it. So you can kind of feel it tingling. I go in first and I really focus on like my scalp by going in first with this and then I will go in with my shampoo and conditioner and my shampoo and conditioner that I use is the anti-breakage line from Tresemme. So this is the shampoo and conditioner that I use. Um, in each section I will shampoo my hair three times focusing on my scalp to really get the sugar scrub out and then to focus on my hair follicle. And then once it's cleansed three times, I will then put you know, some conditioner in and then wrap that section with some Garnier uh, Whole Blends Repairing Mask. It is the repair, it repairs, strengthens dry damaged hair. It's the honey one, honey treasures. So this is the uh, mask that I use in my hair. And I will braid that section back up and then I will go through the other three sections. And then once every section is, you know, my scalp has been scrubbed, my hair has been washed and conditioned, and I have put in the hair mask, I will do a body wash, I will shave my legs, I will do body scrubs, whatever I need to do in the shower, just so that the mask also is in my hair for about five minutes. And then I will rinse everything out. Now, once my hair is rinsed out, I will go in like with a microfiber towel or something like that, allow my hair to really dry naturally so that it's not breaking, keep kind of keeping and retaining that moisture. And then what I go in with next is I focus on my scalp again and I go in with this wild growth hair oil. It's like, it's about $9.99 at the hair, hair store. And it has like a variety of different stuff. It has like coconut, olive oil, jojoba, rice bran, cacao, um, pomegranate, rose hip, pumpkin seed, extracts of mushroom, chickpea, lentil, cacao mass, sesame seed, essential oils of the clary sage, eucalyptus, frankincense, geranium, grapefruit, lavender, and peppermint. So it has a variety of different stuff in here and I just go in and I really massage that into my scalp. And then I do the same thing with my extra dark Jamaican black castor oil. So this is the one that I have. This one is a very thick oil and this one is a very thin oil, but I just put this throughout my scalp and I really massage with the beds of my fingertips here. So not like here where the nail is, but really this area here. So it's just really soft and really flat and I'm just massaging that oil all throughout my scalp. And then once that is done, I go in with these two products that my hair just loves. This first product is by African Royale. It's Mom. It's the Miracle of Moisturizer. Honestly, hands down, this, like all of these things are going to be in my hair care routine for life because truly my hair responds really, really well for with them. My hair loves these products and it does the job to really moisturize my hair. This repairs, moisturizes, and conditions. I put this all throughout my hair and then I comb my hair out with a wide tooth comb. So after I've oiled, massage oiled into my scalp, I will put this throughout my hair follicle and then go in with a wide tooth comb. And I leave it in for a few minutes before I go in with the Blue Magic Coconut Oil Hair Conditioner. This is the one. I also use the blue one as well by Blue Magic. 
so in case you're wondering but this is the white one this stuff i mean i'm sure a lot of you have grown up using this i will always use this it really adds a lot of moisture to my hair and does really really well and i just really try to work it into my hair and again i will do go in with a wide tooth comb and at that point my hair is kind of damp but it's also retaining the moisture of these two products so then i will put my hair into two braids and then go a few days before i get my hair done and so the day before i get my hair done i will go back in with these two products along with my oils to really make sure that my scalp is moisturized before I head to the hair salon to get my hair braided. And I will blow dry on like a, a medium cool, like it's like cool warm heat. So I'm not going high heat at all. I'm doing about a cool warm heat and I go in with my wide tooth comb and I just brush it until it's all detangled throughout my entire hair and it's dry and this really is just blended so well into my hair that it leaves my hair really soft and smooth and detangled. I then go in, I go get my hair done. I ask for the medium size, you know, box braids and I go in for a middle part and then a side part just so that I have options because there was one time I got my hair braided and they put a braid in the center of my forehead and it just like was so weird to have I was just like I don't like this it was like hard to part because it would it just it wouldn't do the right thing like so I was just like okay from now on I will make sure I have a middle part because I always want a side part because I prefer a side part but now I'm just like I need a middle part because having that weird braid in the center of my forehead was just odd it just it was weird. Anyway, I digress. I will get my hair done. And then when I come home, this is where the real work happens. So I'm going to go over these three products that honestly are just really good and life changing for me of my hair care routine while I have a protective style in because this hair care routine that I talked about before my protective style in is what I've always done but I my hair just wasn't growing as much and my hair grows a lot more in a protective style when it's just kind of sitting chilling feeling kind of tight coiled and it just grows that way whereas if, if it's kind of just loose I also live in Colorado it's a dry place my hair is not growing that fast but in a protective style it's growing at a really, really good rate. So every single morning and night, I do this routine. Like this has is what's helped me not scratch my hair at all while having a protective style in. Like I only think about scratching my head if someone is scratching theirs and I'm just like, reflexively doing it but I truly do not scratch my hair my hair looks so good because usually before I started doing this routine a week into having my braids my scalp would look like the definition you couldn't see by doing this hair care routine with my protective style in my hair looks so amazing within two months of having it in it looks like it was freshly done like you can still see the definition of the parting it is incredible. So this has truly like changed my hair care routine for life and I'm going to be doing this for life. It is a little bit of work, but I just add it as I'm doing my, my skincare routine like it's nothing. So prepare for your life to be changed. Now every single morning and night, I spray these two products into my scalp. This is the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco. It's the Strengthen and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. Now, obviously you can see I don't have a lot in here, but this is what it looks like. You have to shake to activate. So right now it's activated, but it has like an oil that it will separate and then a little bit of this like yellow creamy mixture. But you have to shake it to activate. It like says it right there. Shake to activate. And I will spray this into my scalp like that that is what i will do and i will spray it 
like I will like I won't I have like a little ponytail in the back but I will move and I will start from like the right side and just focus and moving like each braid and just spray all over my scalp and then I go in the back and I do the same thing spraying all over my scalp and then I will go in with the African Royale it is the braid and extensions sheen spray it moisturizes conditions and softens adding luster to hair and scalp and it soothes itching now with tea tree oil and extra anti-itch uh, power it has a lot of different ingredients in it i'm not gonna go through it but it's it's really great i've been using this before i discovered that i really just need to be moisturizing my scalp every day when i have a protective style in and this smells really good this one's like 5.59 typically and this one's 5.99 so pretty affordable and i go through a bu i mean like i do the same thing like i just pick up the hair kind of separate and really focus all over my scalp and then i'll go in the back and do the same thing and I do that every morning and night. Truly, like waking up every morning, spraying this directly onto my scalp has helped so much. And then several times a week, I will go back in with these oils, this wild growth hair oil and the extra dark Jamaican black castor oil. And I will just moisturize my scalp. Moisturize now because there's nothing wrong with adding moisture to your scalp. Um... <laughs> And it feels nice and I will just go through and I won't moisturize every single row I will just like go in do one row every couple of like three to four rows I will moisturize here here and then I'll try to do as much as I can in the back and then with this oil I really try to focus on my edges um, just so that I don't have any breakage with my edges and then my wash care routine while I have my braids in is also by Taraji P. Henson. It is the Master Cleanse, a targeted scalp wash. And this is what it looks like. And it has like these nozzles here too. And I don't know if I showed that in this one as well. Oops. Kind of came out. But it has like a nozzle so it's really... I think both of these products are targeted for your scalp. I'm just putting that back on. That kind of spilled out because <laughs> I did not properly close that when I was using it in the shower a few days ago. But it has like nozzles that are really helpful to just go straight into your scalp. This one is a very watery texture so you can squeeze out a lot. But I find using this and washing my scalp, really just focusing on my scalp when I have a protective style in, is just squirting this directly into my scalp and then massaging here on this part of my finger that into my scalp and rinsing that and then I will go in with a little bit of shampoo just a little bit a tiny bit like a dime size amount I'm not even joking when people say like a quarter or a dime size amount and then they put like way more than that I'm not joking I put like a dime to a nickel sized amount and I massage my scalp because that's all I'm focusing on is to massage my scalp. And also like when your hair starts growing a little bit more, it lifts more. So then I really try to massage that area of where you can see like the hair starting to, the from the extension starting to lift from your scalp. I massage that hair that is your own hair with water and obviously the scalp wash and the shampoo. And then I will go in with a little bit, same thing, a dime size to a nickel size amount of conditioner just to condition my hair and really rinse that out. And I try to wash my hair when I have a protective style in every two to three weeks. And once I'm out of the shower, I go in with my microfiber towel to just put my hair up so it can dry. And then I just moisturize the heck out of my scalp, going first in with my oils, leaving that in, and then I will go in with my sprays. And then I 
you know, use my silk scarf to wrap my hair when I go to bed. I also go to bed with a silk satin pillowcase to really protect my skin and my hair. But yeah, that is my entire hair care routine. That is what I do to prevent breakage because honestly, I would lose like a lot of hair, like this amount of hair between styles like taking out my braids and stuff oh that's another thing so when i'm taking out the braids i will wash my hair i will go through that whole routine that i do every couple weeks of washing my hair before i take it out so my hair is fully wet and then i kind of put a little moisturizer in and then i go in you know cut the braids take out the hair and then i will go in with a wide tooth ooh, a wide tooth comb comb my hair out from tip to root because my hair is already wet and I honestly lost less than a hand size like about like this much of hair and I had the protective style in for about two and a half months and I did not lose like and that was the amount of hair that I lost it was insane and then I washed my hair again just to really get everything out doing that same routine that I talked about at the beginning of the video I would comb my hair again and I would lose literally I'm not even joking like this amount here like that's what I would lose after washing my hair once everything was out so it wasn't even like an entire hand of worth of stuff that I would lose like hair that I would lose it was less than that and I would lose like handfuls of hair due to breaking due to shedding because I just wasn't taking care of my hair while I was in a protective style so that is everything that I would do these are all the products that I use like religiously I use these products to wash my hair I use these for my scalp and my hair has gotten thicker my hair has grown I don't experience a lot of the breakage or the fallout like to lose that amount of hair for two months of like two two and a half months of having a protective style in that amount is beautiful that amount is like so small compared to what you would normally lose on a daily basis if you're brushing your hair all the time. And that was because I really just focused on moisturizing my scalp and washing my hair while having a protective style in and really having products that were catered to my scalp was just amazing. And also allowing my hair to look good throughout the entire process. Like when I took out my hair, my hair still looked new. Like my hair didn't look like this tight new, but you could see a lot of definition still. And it wasn't grown out. It wasn't looking awful or bad or raggedy or whatever. Like it was looking so nice. And I was so proud of myself that I was just like, I have to share this because hopefully it can help one of you guys out there if you are also experiencing shedding and breakage with your hair when it's in a productive style and you're trying to take it out. It's, it's truly amazing. So that in a nutshell is my entire hair care routine while having a protective style to prevent breakage and shedding from your hair. I hope this was really helpful. I hope this was informative. If it was, please do give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!